Hi, and welcome to the Maker's Notebook on episode number seven. We're coming to you from the Charlotte area. Um, I'm Tracy. And I'm Stacy. And we're a podcast about knitting, crocheting, sewing, and all things crafty. I mean, all things crafty. <laughs> She's not exaggerating. Um, we'll try to share some uh, more other stuff that we do besides knitting yeah. and crocheting. And it takes up a lot of our time, but we do do other things. Yeah. And today we're podcasting outside. So you might hear some ambient noises like construction trucks. I don't know how well you're going to hear it on here, but it's going to be cars driving by and birds chirping. And what's that? Crickets? <laughs> Crickets. And Crickets. And I think and the frogs are not out yet, <laughs> but you will hear some construction noises here or there. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we thought it'd be fun to switch it up and, you know, a different backdrop. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so where you can find us, um, I'm on Ravelry at Trini-Girl, and there you can find all of my projects. Um, on Instagram, I'm Trini-Girl underscore me. And I am on Instagram and Ravelry as Second Sister Knits. Uh, and... Um, that's where you can find me. Yeah. She's smart. She keeps hers both the same. <laughs> Makes life easier. <laughs> yeah, it does. Um, so right now, today is the 6th. Yes. September 6th. Yes. And uh, Hurricane Dorian is doing her thing on the coast. But we're far in. Charlotte is more southwest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're about four hours from the beach, the right. coast. The nearest coastline, right? Is Correct. It? Yeah. We're more near the foothills. So we get um, missed a lot of, well, I shouldn't say missed because last year we had some hurricanes, but yeah. Because but we don't get the full-fledged No, stuff. because we're near yeah. the foothills. So. Yeah, yeah. We do get a lot of wind and I, some areas do get a lot of tornadoes, but yeah, we just get like a, our concern are those pine trees back there. Is it pine trees? Those tall ones? Something. Those tall skinny ones? It's something. And um, those, yeah, you should see them in the... When it's windy. Ooh, they go side to side. They're really makes you scary. nervous. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> They're beautiful and shady, but ooh, they make you nervous when it's yeah. bad weather. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have a couple that needs to come down. <laughs> like, ooh. Yeah. But anyway, um, let's get started. Yeah. Do you have any finished objects? Oh, do you finished. have any? I only have one, y'all. Just one. You have one? I thought you said you had none. One. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you had one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. It needs to be blocked. That's okay. But it's done. Ocean. Ocean. I will put it on for y'all, but it's too hot. 90s today, people. Yeah, this is DK weight, so uh-uh. <laughs> but um, hopefully I'll be able to flash a picture of it for you guys. But um, it's the Ocean sweater using um, Chelsea Yarn Lux DK Merino, I believe. And the colorway is Sugar Plum. And it's finally done. Can't wait to wear it. I tried it on last night and it came out great. My only thing is, and I don't know what I did wrong, is on the bottom, it's, can you see how it's like bubbling? Can you see that? It's like bubbling a little. Not huh. bubbling, but kind of. Maybe it could block out. That's what I'm hoping for. You show them. Can you she see means that? these little bumps. Yeah. I call it bubbling, but yeah. I'm hoping it blocks out. So, we'll Yeah, see. I wonder why that happened. Did she have you? No, and here's the thing, right? In the pattern, uh, you know, it's because you wear it uh, on the pearl side, right? And I should have turned it inside out and just knitted it. Maybe that's what I would have avoided that, you think? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, still going to wear it. Yeah, it's really soft. And uh, it's really nice. So, <clears throat> I have to point this out to you. Yeah. Because you know what you could do? What? Um... Well, show them what did I do. <laughs> well, no, you can't really see it on this side. So I think it's okay. Yeah. But, you know, when you're um, weaving in ends, um, I think there's a way to do it, to where it doesn't leave this. But this is the inside, so it doesn't matter in this case. But, like, where you see that, um, it's because she was going up. Yeah, going up and that's down. supposed to go zigzag. Um, I think I play wrong with it, and I think, yeah, I don't know why that happened. Yeah. 
No, I think going up down um going up and down is fine. Mm -hmm. I think if you go across you would still see those yeah, bumps. Yeah, I've tried it. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know why that happened. Yeah, that's weird. I try to go according But it doesn't you, you can't see, see it on the side. Yeah. So if I wanted to wear it inside out, you'd see it, but mm. Yeah. No, it's nice. I love it. I love it. So the finally color. done. Finally done. I love a DK sweater. Me too. I me too. Pull over. Oh yeah. Yeah. It DK feels nice. Is. Just can't wait for sweater sweater weather. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's my only finished object. Yeah, what nice. Do you have? So I'm wearing um the asymmetrical asymmetrical wrap um by pearl. It's a free p pattern on Pearl Soho, and this is using the burnish oh, yeah. yarn by Pearl Soho. Yes. And um, let me get the name for you, the color because I try to memorize these things so I don't have to be looking in this book, but yeah, good luck with that. Red Sienna. <laughs> and there it is. Um, I haven't weaved in the ends yet, but it is blocked. So um, looks good. There okay. isn't a lot bigger than I thought it would. Yeah. So anyway, um, it's grab it there. Yeah, it goes. Yeah, it's long, right? It's very nice. <laughs> so anyway, um, this material is like cotton bamboo, I believe. Yeah, it feels nice. Um, I think it's cotton bamboo. Very nice. Rayon, 100% rayon from bamboo. Mm. So it's very soft and nice, perfect it for summer. Or like, like spring, or late spring. Yeah, spring, fall. Yeah, so. Something light, not too thick or heavy. Yeah, and this was fun um, because it was pretty mindless and the short rows, short rows were actually fun. Can you believe this? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wrap and turn because I got mine to do. No, because you're not going in the round, so it's easy, you won't have the holes. But right. um, I did the wrap and turn in this case. Mm -hmm. Um, sometimes I try to usually to mostly use um, what is it called? German short ropes, <laughs> but this time I use allergies. allergies bless you. Oh, <laughs> maybe we should have podcasted inside, <laughs> but anyway, there we go. There's if that. I keep sneezing, sorry, you all. <laughs> Ah, more spores. What is it? More spores and <coughs> ah, you're gonna have to edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, let's see. And here we have the um my finished Odyssey. Wow, using um very nice Chelsea Lux DK and <coughs> ooh, this is Sand Dune, Sand Dune. Um, rose gold is the pink, which I love. And this is co pilot, and I love her yarn yeah. and I love her colors, and it's fast. Oh my gosh, this is really nice! But yeah, and wow, I can... this is really nice. I like these, um, that stitch there. Yeah, I don't know if you can nice. see it. It's really nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, we should have went inside. Whew. Sorry, guys. Um, okay. And then, that was a quick knit because it was DK. So, so it was fast. Yeah. And then I have here yeah, color craving. Can you? I, I thought I'd never finish this thing. So, Tracy, <laughs> you got to help me. Oh, here. my gosh. This thing. It's amazing. <laughs> sure. Oh my gosh. It goes on forever. I probably should have went down a needle size. The colors are phenomenal. Um, you see those colors? Look at that. So, um, I love anything with gray in it. Oh yeah, that gray is um, the scratched record. Ooh, Ma uh, Matosh. Madeline Tosh, scratch record. This here is Hugh Loco. Ooh. Um, Salt Very water. Nice. I think it's called salt water. Mm -hmm. And then the green here, pistachio sweet Georgia. Mm. Yeah. And there you go. Very um, nice. So okay. How would you? The issue with this, the short rows. Um, Stephen West have you do his short rows a little differently. Um, it's just knit and then turn. No wrap and turn. No um, German short row, nothing like that. It's just knit, then turn. 
And so when I resolve the net, when I resolve the, sh the, the short rows on the net side, those worked out fine. They closed properly. Sorry, guys. There's a bee in here. Anyway, um, it's not a bee. It's something. Jack Spinea, as we call it in <laughs> Trinidad. <laughs> oh, I want to go tap it right now. How would you wear it? I have to tap it, y'all. Yeah, she goes trying to kill her. I don't know. Get it good, girl. Cause... Oh, dang it. <laughs> it went really high. Did they go high? He knew I was coming for him, too. When you go high, when they go high. Ooh. Got it. Oh, it looks nice on. Yeah, it's not bad. Okay, so when I try to resolve the short rows that was done on the wrong side, there were these holes, but it's not in the pattern how to resolve the short rows on that were created on the wrong side, but it's in his video. Mm. And I watched the first two. I'm impatient, so I didn't watch the video all the way through had i done that i would have known how to resolve the short rows that was done on the wrong side ah. so beware mm. mm -hmm. there's a way to do it you have to slip slip net, do stuff and then do stuff then, yeah you have to do something a little different and he points it out as a warning um in the youtube video in the notes section but i did not open it all the way else i would have seen it and been like ah, ah. <laughs> it's beautiful so are you... i don't care I'm, I'm like i was not undoing anything <laughs> i would <No>. <laughs> i'm like who can see it <laughs> sure can. it's on here <laughs> it looks great on you the colors look good yeah, the colors are nice. so anyway yeah i gotta figure out how to wrap that all up but anyway it looks um, good so um, how many shawls do you have now? Too many, man. Can you count? Yeah. Yeah, and my thing is not filled. Um, that little case I think I throw, I showed you, the closet organizer I showed you guys in the, one of the last video, a couple of videos ago, um, it's not full. But probably I should co slow my roll. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't help it. It's so mindless and so it is. nice, right? Gifts. That yeah, is so but nice. People though. don't we appreciate need big it. People don't really appreciate it. You see, that's yeah. what you do, right? So it's like people see and they're like, oh, it's so nice, it's so nice. But then when you make it for them, right? It's like you yeah. wonder what they're really thinking, you know? So it's like you don't want to make it, so you don't make it for them, but then you look selfish. Plus, right? I like big challenging pieces, and it, there's a lot of care that goes into blocking them and stuff. And I think that. Not to, if you're a non knitter, you probably wouldn't want to be bothered with having to block Lock it. it. You want to just throw it in the washing machine and call it a day. Yeah, yeah. and half the time you're using non super wash. Yeah. 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 So it's a. Because I knit for the fun of it, of seeing it's like art. Yeah. It coming together yeah. with the colors. And the challenge of the pattern that keeps you yeah. engaged. Yeah. More than for the product. Certain yeah. things you want the product. But right. like his pattern, Stephen West, this is process yeah like for me yeah so anyway you have some people who are not worthy and who will appreciate it and will go through the trouble of taking care of it right yeah and then yeah. the average person don't want no so, so we try not... to give them simpler things that's super wash which i mean it, it's knitting with some of those yarns i mean unless it's like i'm sorry because we're we, we, we like art we like color and and so these variegations these speckle yarns is part of the thrill for us yeah i know for me anyway yeah so it is. yeah um the so feel of it everything on your hands yeah 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 and we knit for therapy <laughs> not because you know we need half this stuff so no it's my it's my it's my jam yeah i like it's what i like to do it's what takes up keeps us sane it does <laughs> it keeps me happy it's just like i don't know i it's like everybody has that thing that they love to do. This is what I love to do. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So. Okay. So let's get into uh, works and progress. progress. Okay. So 
I last time I showed you guys, I was working on um, Andrea Mori's So Faded, but I'm not fading it because, like I said before, I'm too chicken to pull out the colors. But I do think um, next time, the next one I do make, it will be a faded one because I need to challenge myself. I think I'm ready. Oh my God. Did you see that fade, that oh, hedgehog fiber? <gasps> Is she worth Oh my God. I saw that on Instagram. I'll flash it here. Gorgeous. But I must collect those colors you think it's in for the um in, it's um, there i went to simple sock yarn online yeah she has all the colors what i mean you're talking about a 150 dollar investment <laughs> six skeins of yarn Yikes. at 30 dollars a pop oh my gosh well but that's guys, something you're gonna have to do though if you're gonna get it because that might be gone soon but those colors oh my gosh so nice. cheers to you didn't have it in stock I yet? think what you can do is probably different these because we okay so guys we have a bunch of yarn crawls coming up uh, well I shouldn't say a bunch but there's one here in the Charlotte area starting from September 20th to the 28th correct and so maybe I'll pick up the scheme there I know Lola Bean is coming to cheers yes. to you on the 28th We're excited we hear things like oh people are driving up from other states because yeah, three or four hours away and they're gonna be camping out early camping early, out early. early and we were warned to get to chairs to you like really early, early yeah because <laughs> lola bean is coming with her yarn yeah with all the colors yeah. <laughs> so we plan to you know get us a skein of lola bean and Definitely. maybe if i can find one of those hedgehogs from yeah. um but that's it. I mean, I don't want to gather all this yarn and have such a big stash. I really don't want a big stash. I yeah. think my stash is nice. If yeah. the recession comes, I'm I'm good. <laughs> I have some things I can dig into and and, <sighs> and twiddle for the next year or two. You know. See, I want to get to that point. Yeah. Because I'm just good for maybe two projects, three projects out if that. So. Look how we talking. I'm good for a recession. <laughs> <laughs> We're bad, aren't we? <laughs> Uh, hey, important things. Yeah, think hey, about you're going to need that to get you through, right? Yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so. Um, oh. Yeah, go ahead. So anyway, so I didn't make much progress because I was focusing on um, a couple other things. So here it is. This is the back. How, how are you liking it? It's mindless knitting. It's straight knitting. Yeah. Because so the sleeve, can you see it? It's kind of dark. Yeah, yeah. I know. I like this part, the um, pearl side. Yeah. So no, I think that's just considered um, stock in that, right? Is it? Probably. Probably. Anyway, but anyway. I like that detail on yes. the sleeve. Yeah. Yeah. So it's gonna be a little cropped, not too cropped, because I don't like too cropped. But this you can wear even under the stuff you have on. Right. I mean over. Yeah, over it, right? So that'd be, a be layered. Guys, I love layers. Me too. <laughs> Me too. That's why I went. I don't so, want to pick it up. So 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 many whips. Yes. Do so you anyway, have more? Do you have more? I have a couple more, but you can go ahead. Okay. But yeah, this is all I got for. I'm getting close to the bottom where I could do the um the ribbon on the bottom and then add the sleeves and hopefully have it done soon. Okay. So with all my leftover um yarn that I had, it wasn't a lot actually from uh, Chelsea Lux that I used for the Odyssey. There's not a whole lot left. Mm -hmm. But I was watching Chelsea Pearls and they're doing the Sunday knit along. I don't know if it's a formal knit along or not, but oh, I'm like, yeah. I'm joining them yeah. with the Northeasterly. Yes. And so I have the two colors here. I'm oh, doing nice. the DK version. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Um, I'm just knitting it. I'm not, cons I may consider color placement, just making sure that the color next to it matches. But other than that, I'm just, this, these, um, pieces sections are just going to be as until I run out of yarn. Um, I, I went to DK route because I have so many single, I have so much yarn left over a big, huge bag of leftovers that I want to incorporate into the, you know, this and, um, what's that other blanket everyone was doing with the fingering with? Yeah. I forgot. Um, it's by junk yarn, the pattern. Yes. But anyway, memory, memory keeper. Yeah. Anyway, um, so between those two projects, I want to use up all what I have so I can get rid of that stash. Of yeah. Yarn. So you just do that on Sundays only, right? 
Um, she said that's the only thing you knit on Sunday. Well, no, I. <laughs> but anyway, this is by Skinanigans, and um, yeah. You like those needles? Yeah, those are um. Are those higher highs? I was wondering the straight higher highs, the DPN higher highs. DPNs, yeah, the DPNs. Have, oh, you know what? Because you're using um, a DK weight. Because I um I tried I have some higher high DPNs and I was I think it was sock size yes and I was fingering and that thing was too slippery for me and oh, I love really? higher higher love higher higher no what's the other addies those might be addies or higher highs I am not a hundred okay for some, I'll flash it here if, okay. but it's not slippery okay. at all so that's why I'm thinking it's higher higher but then yeah I don't remember okay um you got something oh yeah. So I'm participating in the Hohi Fall Cal Knit Along. Um, Cal Knit Along, same thing, right? Sorry. <laughs> so started it on the first or the second. I don't remember which day, but this is as far as I got. Which pattern is it? And the pattern is Kisses by the Sea by Hohi. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And uh, so this color is hedgehog fiber and it's called pollen. This variegated color right here wait did you go to the orange store without me no no this was in my stash just making sure you were with me the other day when we went to the yarn store and i got this one this one is hedgehog you remember so lady ann was helping me pick out my color and she was uh she said oh how about this and this one here happens to be walking by right and she goes oh love it and she continued walking <laughs> so then lady ann was like oh there you go <laughs> so but anyway so this color right here in the middle, that is called uh, Mess Twisted Owl, and the color is, sorry guys, um, Island View. And then the third color, which is in there, but you probably won't see it, is this one. And this is Miss Babs Yummy Two Ply, and the color is Juniper. So, I um, can't wait. Can't wait, can't wait. I went outside my comfort zone because... I showed you guys. Did I show it to you last time? Probably not. I love these two together and I wanted to get a lighter color, but we thought it would drown out. So then Lady Anne suggested go with this to make it pop. Yep. Pop in. So that's what I'm working on and it's fun mindless, mindless knitting, I think. I love Hohe's patterns, especially when I you wrap it, it around yeah. in your neck and how it falls. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. But that's Stephen West pattern. Even. Might have to. Mm. That just if you your mindset for yeah. that is just long haul. Is like it? if it takes me into next year, I'm fine with it. Like oh. that's how my mentality was with it. How long did it take you to finish it? I started in May, I think. Oh, oh no, before that, maybe. Really? Wow. I have to look at. Yeah, it's in my project. I didn't write it in my book. It's in my own Ravelry. Okay. Oh. Um, Guys, I will be casting on a bunch of stuff, but man, can I tell you, the Shelly Summer Top by Nancy Ricci. Oh my gosh. I told her this morning, I'm like, that thing? So potato chippy. <laughs> it's like potato, who needs potato chips? Yeah. Really? Like, seriously? Like, I could, if I had those colors, anyway. We were at the yarn store and we weren't even thinking of this until she's like, we want, we should do this. Well, because between these stitches, Katuska <laughs> and um, Shamika of Mechamika um, makes, is it Mechamika? Mechamika? Anyway, a fellow Trini, a <laughs> Trinidadian girl, um, they, they were making it and it looks so nice. And then getting pearly with it, which is Nancy, has been flashing all these photos of people wearing mm -hmm. this stuff and they're all and looking, looking amazing, cute. Amazing, especially with skirts and pants shorts and jeans it looks amazing so here we go you have to knit two pieces so okay it's potato chippy because really it's four rows that you're repeating two of which anyway i don't give details but it's so mindless like you memorize the whole thing really it's so easy um i gotta say this is my first pattern by her and oh my god I learned something new. Yeah, what's that? She has a nice little section on how you make a gate swatch because really, how do you gate swatch this? <laughs> so 
it's almost like lace, right? It's a lace garment. So how do you swatch a lace garment? Right. And that's what I've been struggling with up until now. But thanks to Nancy and her in her pattern, and even on her Instagram, in her um, she has videos on ex like she goes through step by step like each thing. Let me tell you, um, her gate swatch, she tells you exactly what to do. So from now on, when I gate swatch for something that has some seed stitch or lace mm. or something like that, mm -hmm. I know exactly what to do. I'm just going to knit exactly what the gauge is for the pattern mm -hmm. and then measure that for the four inches. Mm. But she gives more details with her gauge. She tells you like pre-block your gauge swatch should be this big wow and then after you block it it should be that big wow nobody like i've explained that to you i don't Just, think i've ever seen that anywhere yeah you yeah, know yeah. and i've always knit a gate swatch bigger than the bigger product. than what the gauge says right me too the the size of it me so too. you can check, check in each different section. area yeah but no 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 that's for lace and stuff like this where a seed stitch or anything that's hard to count just if they say, you know, 20 stitches and, you know, 10 rounds or whatever, it should equal four inches, right. then just knit that. And then that'll give you a good idea. So anyway, this is um, Barocco cotton. Yes. And um, I got the same. It's modern cotton. Cotton in salty brine i'm gonna do the same thing i have it all ready to go i'm gonna swatch it today so yeah you you're gonna love you're gonna love it can't wait yeah and it's gonna go fast it goes fast Fast, really i'll be done with it if i was to just knit on this i'll be done with it next week wow yeah wow mm -hmm. and yeah. i'm using the pattern recommended um size needles which really? is size eight and i'm using liquor only because it's cotton and it's slippery. Yeah. And this would help me hold it up a little bit. Okay. And my stitch markers from Hearts on Fiber. I love these. I don't like the dangly ones too much. Yeah, I get caught in yeah, stuff. Yeah, but these, I don't know if you can see it. It's a little hearts. Anyway. Um, kept in my... My favorite. This is my favorite bag. I want a crossbody one. I want more. I'm yeah. greedy. Yeah, yeah. I am too. I, 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 it's like, I, do, I don't know if I want the pouch or the crossbody. I want all of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have been knitting some socks, actually. Can you believe that? I have lost my socks mojo all year. I think I made maybe one or two pairs all year. So this will be my third pair. And the pattern I'm using is from the Socktacular book that I got off of uh, Knitfix. Mm -hmm. website mm -hmm. and this pattern is called penance oh look at the back though i mean look at it's so socks. pretty yeah you can imagine having a box full of yeah it's so pretty so cute mm -hmm. so and nice. it's not expensive no. right it was mm -hmm. okay it's 9.99 but then you know nut picks they always have like Sale promotions yeah. yeah yeah you could get it somebody bent my book last night um anyway so i'm using this yarn you guys for the life of me i can't find the tag I'm like so annoyed. Let me see the skein. I keep telling her, I think it's junk yarn. You think that's junk yarn? Hold on. Caught up in my other uh, thing I'm swatching. <laughs> you got it? It looks familiar. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It came with us? Yeah. No, um. The yarn store, Charlotte Yarn, where I got it from. Right, so what could Put you have bought there? It was the been junk yarn. Oh, oh, the girl, um, the little girl, the other, the local yarn dyer. Ava somebody? Ava, yeah. It could have been. It could have been. I, I I went through my, um, I keep all my, um, tags, my book. I went through inside of here to see if it was there. I can't remember, what did I no, do with that tag? Either. And I try, I, I'm not, I, I don't really lose my tags. I'm so weird. But anyway. Huh? I like your blouse. Thank you. Loft find. <laughs> Love loft. Yeah. <laughs> I went the other day there looking at jeans. Yeah. And um, because I like how their jeans fit. And the, the mom jeans are back in style, y'all. <laughs> what? What is mom jeans? Like the high waisted stuff? The stuff that's back in the eighties or later. The high waisted? Yeah. 
I see I see a lot of young people wearing high waisted jeans. I see that. Because you know, crop tops. Right. But it doesn't look flattering on me. In the hip area. But are you wearing it for what? Um no. I tried it on in the store and I wasn't as thrilled. <laughs> and then on top of that, um she the the one that the the, the wash that I did like it wasn't as high yeah. because the girl was telling me, do you remember the young girl who works there? Yeah, yeah, time? she's really nice. She's really nice. Yeah. And she goes, she says, yeah, she said how that one sold out. She says how she had only a couple sizes left because yeah. that's the one everybody gravitated to. Yeah. The others, nobody's really touching them because they're really high waist. Well, I think, okay, and, so there's something to that. I bought, remember last year or two years ago, I bought from J. Crew some high-waisted jeans. Parts of it fit perfectly, and parts of it, like I definitely, it comes up too high, and I have to wear a belt like really tight. <laughs> yeah, because you tight, you're small up there. It's it's the weirdest feel. I was like, I wish this could be more fitting nicely. Yeah. So I know what you mean by that. Yeah, exactly. I know what you mean because it'll fit in one area, but then it just. I don't know. I, I just don't want to look sloppy in it, right? Yeah. And my daughter could probably wear it because, you know, she's... She, probably because young. if you're slim, uh, um, you, you know, you don't have a lot of hips. Like, as you get middle-aged, that's what you have. Um, if you're straight, mostly, yeah. maybe that would work for you perfectly. Right. Because I noticed those girls, it looks really good on them. It's like you said, if you're straight. So, like, my daughter, she's very straight. Yeah. So she could wear it, but me, I probably can't. Not that I'm hippie either, but still. But anyway, those jeans, I I like that store, but I was just disappointed in those jeans. But then I say maybe it has to grow on me, like how skinny jeans grew on me years ago. So, But it's funny, though. Those jeans are coming back in style. And those white-legged pants, right? White-legged pants has always been in and out. But the, the jeans, those mom jeans are back in now. So, I What I do like, though, I would like some skinny pants that's high waist. I don't mind that. To wear with my crop sweaters. So this is the pattern. This is so nice and like, man, this is gonna be nice on. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's so cozy. Yeah, but to knit with it, it feels nice on the needles when you're knitting with something and you're like, okay, uh, one more row, and you're like, oh no, one more row, and then before you know it, an hour goes by, and you're like, I got other things I need to knit on. But it feels so nice. But I like the he these heels fit me the best. Yes, me too. I've tried others, but what is it? It's called a. The heel gusset? Yeah, heel yeah. flap and gusset. Heel flap and gusset, yeah. Mm -hmm. So basically, the pattern in the book, I used the penance pattern, right? And um, I did my own heel and gusset from some other vanilla pattern. And I'm just going to do a, probably a rounded toe instead of a point. I don't like the pointy look. Oh, no, no. I rounded toe all the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. But anyway. And you know I'm who's doing. rounded toe I follow? Mina Phillips. Yeah. I love her around it. It's nice, huh? Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. So that's what I'm working on. Okay, so. What else are you working on? Love Notes by 10 Canets that everybody and their mama. <laughs> All right, so um, I've bound off the oh. body. And Tracy will tell you, I probably knit. I had to put it down for a couple of days because <laughs> I knitted the short rows at the end here like probably four times. I first did the wrap and turn, and then I did the German short row. And then I was like, I was still getting holes, and I'm like, you know what? She looked at hers and said, there's holes in mine too. And I'm like, okay, we rolling. <laughs> because I cannot. You can't really see the holes. I tried looking online for instructions on how to resolve the German short row and the wrap and turn that was done on the pearl, pearl side. Yeah. You know how you try to resolve it on the knit side? Um, when you resume knitting in the round and can't. I did find one and when I tried it, it still didn't work. Mm. Um, you lick, you knit one leg of the German short row right. and then you knit the second leg with the next stitch. Still didn't work. It still created a hole. I'm like, oh, well, whatever. <laughs> so now I just got to do the arms and yeah. the, the neck. That's going to go by fast. Yeah. And I'm done. It looks good. Um, Everything was fast, though. I mean, yeah. it's very potato chippy. Yes, um, it is. Until I got to the short rows. <laughs> I'm copying Tracy. This is the exact same color she has. We should wear it together. Oh, my God. 
to Saf. <laughs> People will be like, what's wrong with them? <laughs> and uh let me see. I think I have the label here for you guys. Um, so both people were asking, and both um, local yarn shops for us, Cheers to You and Hearts on Fiber. Fiber, they carry it, yes. and they both ship. Yes. Um, if you do not see it on their website, call them, yes. and they will be happy to help you. Yeah. So here's the label. And here's some... But anyway, yeah. Um, so that's fun. That's all you have so far for this knitting. No, you have more. Excuse me. I'm, I'm going home and casting on a bunch of things too. Two more things. I'm gonna tell you. I'm, we'll talk about it. Knitter. <laughs> I'm trying. You know, I'm trying. But you have more or no? No, I said because I have to. Um, I gotta finish. Um, I have to swatch two items: binoculars, which I started, but I haven't finished swatching, and the Shelly top. So, for the Hohe Cow, I'm knitting the Recoletta. I love this. Yes. But I'm, I'm reading the comments on the project pages, and man. What? The charts. It's, this is going to be a challenging piece. Ooh. I plan to... I don't want to get frustrated. I, like, This is not a knit and watch TV kind of thing. This is like... You got to focus because of the charts. And from what I hear... Sometimes there are two charts you got to read at the same time. All right. <laughs> so, but I, I this I want the finished project product. But she loves challenges though. Yeah. So. And I want this to be right. So I knitted it the swatch in a size the size needle which is a 6, okay? Now This is the 6, this is the 7. Mhm. Mm let me tell you, it looks the same. I can't tell the difference. Yeah, sure can't. Then again, I'm not wearing my glasses. But then again, this is why we say swatches lie. Because <laughs> this is definitely bigger than that. And I'm thinking I'm going to go up a needle size, which mm -hmm. is this here, mm -hmm. and do it. I hesitate though because I'm afraid when I knit this project and I block it, it's not going to react like this because it's going to have more weight to it and it's just going to pull out some more. Mm. This is the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Because even though you block it, it's not going to be. It's because gonna be this is a little swatch and yeah. anything small is going to block and right. it's not going to pull. Right. But once you have a whole, a whole garment, it's going to pull when you thing it yeah because that's what my Birkin I, I I blocked it and it didn't stretch but then when the the swatch that is yeah but then when we when I finished the whole sweater yeah. and it blocked up a lot bigger it's like whoa because you don't have to wait behind it so I started it last night and it was a lot of fun <laughs> I'm like ooh, this is great <laughs> and then I started thinking and I'm like uh oh sh okay so let me tell you this um I did not meet gauge with the smaller needle, with the pattern needle, which is six. So I went up a needle size and I met gauge, as close to gauge as possible. But in my head, I'm like, okay, if it blocks out and it's bigger, then it'll be the gauge. <laughs> so I started off with the size six needles. And I'm thinking as I'm knitting, I'm like, I should go up. I should do the seven. I don't, like, what if it doesn't block out and it doesn't stretch? And then I'm... All this work. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so this is um, Malo Brigo Rios. Oh, okay. Um, I got it from Black Mountain last year. Oh, Black Mountain. I want to finish this to wear. So Black Mountain for their thing. Yeah. The staff and thing. Um, you guys, we can't wait to go to Black Mountain. You know, Magpie is going to be there. Native Fibers are going to be there. She's going to have like 16 vendors. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Button Jar. Button Jar Studios. Her bags. Her bags. Um, Donna carries everything. Yeah. It's. Yeah. We're going <laughs> to. A knitter's paradise. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to save my money, but then it's like the yarn crow is coming up and it's like, you guys are not being fair to me. <laughs> me. <laughs> Um, and so this is Malabriga Rios and Bobby Blue. And um, 
I'm going to undo this and go to a, the size 7 needle just to be sh sure that the thing fits because I want it. Yeah. I want it to be right, y'all. <laughs> and so, um, the other thing, I'm going to switch. Well, here's the other dilemma I have. I do not like the Rios on, a, on the liquor. Mm. Is it harder? It's not, it's not smooth at all see when i snip with liquor i like it don't get me wrong it's just that when it, if it's not smooth my hands start to hurt yeah I notice. and there's a lot of knitting so i i this the yarn and the needle gotta be right so i think i'm gonna switch to high higher you think i'll mess with, mess with your gauge this your is what the problem is i'm like okay do i have to gauge swatch again because you might ay, ay, ay. Try it and then, oh, you, oh, it's lacing, right? So it's not like it's knitting, straight knitting, where you can say, let me measure it as I go. I would go with the, like, the higher, higher, with the one that you met gauge with, the size. And just go from there. Yeah. Because higher, higher is not that sl slippery. So, all right, I might lift it. But anyway, all right. <laughs> so anyway, that's that. And then um, I'm going to cast on, as a gift, the Fohi cowl as well, the bubble cowl. Very nice. And I'm using this right here, which is Miss Babs. And that color is called Tulipia. Tuli mm -hmm. Tulipa. And I got it from Charlotte Yarn when they had um, trunk show. their trunk show the other day. Which I didn't go to, but Remy was nice enough to let us saw through what was left over. <laughs> that was nice. And um, yeah, I don't think I'm missing anything else on that. And I think that's all my whips that I'm actively working on. I have stuff at home, but yeah. I'm still, Party Top still wants to get that back on track, but I'm still trying to process like which I have three skeins. How do I knit with three skeins? Yeah. I can't. It's, that's where I'm stuck. I'm trying to figure that out. Yeah, you how don't do I to alternate the fade, skein? But you have to alternate it. Yeah, how yeah. do I alternate three skeins instead of two? Because if I do the two and I do the helix, like, then what about this? That's going to be a different color. Anybody have suggestions? Let us know yeah. Yeah. in the bottom, in the comments below. Yeah, because once you start alternating skeins, you're going to get that icky line in the project and yeah. i hate that so for this one i alternated the skeins uh for here for the top but then i couldn't alternate um every couple rows on the bottom here because it was purling because I, didn't I, you knit it inside out no i didn't think to do that on the body on the sleeves i did but not the body had you done that you could have helix i knit it i know yeah Helix is so easy. Yeah. But anyway, so I, mean, I don't think it came out that bad. But then again, she dyed them all together. But he likes um, Babel's Traveling Yarn. Perfect. So easy. It's great. Yeah. But it's limiting, meaning that you cannot do three skeins. You cannot. It has to be just straight knitting. It right. can't be like where you're doing short rows and all right. that stuff. It's not going to work. But, right. Um, anyway. Yeah. Um guys i do uh, so that's a gift not the um bubble cow and then i saw homespun house and she knitted the green line by tammy gore Gosh. i am so excited I, I bought this this morning i'm so excited to go home and go through my stash and find the yarn for that i'm debating if to make it as a gift or for myself <laughs> Like she needs another useful. Sure. It's a cow. Christmas. Oh, cow. Christmas is coming. So I'm thinking I want to cast on the Garter Snake Cow by Lavanya Patricella Whoa. for myself with some native fiber yarn. Mm -hmm. Those colors are very aligned. Those colors are amazing. Yeah. Um, they're part of the Southern Pearls podcast mm -hmm. if you're interested. Yeah. But she has a the color cute. that. I think I've showed you before, a couple, couple episodes ago. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, I was thinking of that for the garter snake. And then, but this looks so cool with the lace. It does some lace. I think it's a black and white picture. But I can flash it here. 
um, that lace detail got me intrigued. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, what about you? Any dream or what you're going to cast on next? Uh, I'm casting on the asymmetrical, which I got a wind of yarn. I just haven't had, you know. What color is that? This is um, the burnished yarn we got from Pearl Soho. Mm -hmm. And the color is scarlet orange. This is the one we saw in the store and I fell in love with it. Is that a Gigi made a color? It probably is. Hey, and it goes with my dress. It does. Everything goes with my dress. It does. I won't be surprised if she has this in her stash. No, I, I do not. <laughs> and then, uh, as you, I told, I mentioned last time I'm doing an Oculus and I, w I started to swatch for it. I didn't get that far. So, it's like every time I sit down to knit, it's like some something always interrupts me. So... But then I'm doing the Shelly top, which I showed you guys that yarn. Yeah. Which I'm going to cast on. The today. Morocco cotton. Yes, which I'm going to swatch today and binoculars as well. I'm going to get those done today. And then um, I have, uh, sorry, I saw some people walk in. Who's walking around here? I think they're cheap. They're not supposed to do that in this neighborhood. There's a big sign. So here's the next project I want to work on. So anyway, I um, bought this and I threw it on top of my stash like that. And I'm like, it caught my eye. And I turned back around and did a quick 360. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> These look good together. What can I make with it? Yeah, and I was thinking... The first thing I'm thinking of is Novelli. All you need is like a creamish color with these colors in there, maybe? That'd Something. Nice. Like a light gray with little speckles of pink and, you know. Yeah. Ooh. I so gotta get to the yarn by store. Bo Novelli by Boiling. I like how it's it's bottom up. Yeah. And apparel is so nice. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. almost like um Andre Mori's um Weekender. Mm-hmm. But it's short sleeve. Oh, I don't okay. like you about that. But... Something to wear in the when it gets cold. I think it's short sleeve. Is it? I think so too. Um and then obviously I'm gonna be working on the Shelly summer top. I just gonna hopefully uh get to swatch today. So I and wanted... that is still Barocco cotton. Yes, yes, it's the same yarn she yeah. has. I just got it in a different color. Yeah. So, um, but you know, I have noticed um, in uh, I was reading an article and uh, they're talking about the fashion trends for the fall mm -hmm. and the winter, and um, for fall fashion week, they were saying that there was a lot of sweaters showing up on the runway. Sweaters like the ones we've been knitting with the color work at the top. So like the all the boiler knit sweaters mm -hmm. and whoever that have color work up Lean top. Back as your head is... Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. yeah. All the color work up top, it's like those it's back in fashion. Yeah, it's showing fashion up on the trend. runway. Yeah, so that's oh. pretty cool. We're right on trend. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nice. So man. that is what I have for my um, future projects. Um, like I said, I only I usually keep two or three projects out in my stash. Yeah, but I do intend to get some more yarn when we go up to Black Mountain and the yarn crawl. Right? And the yarn crawl. Black Mountain is gonna have native. Fibers, button jar, button jar studio, her bags, uh, magpie, magpie, and a whole bunch of others. Yeah. And she has even in her shop, she has like all the yarn. She's oh. a dangerous place. She carries the plister bags. Yes, Labinia May, right? <laughs> Lab Labinia May. Yes, yes, yes. She carries yeah. them. Everything, everything. It's like, but our um, cheers to you is going to carry um, chain fiber. Oh yeah. And she now carrying primrose. Yes. Yeah. These people are dangerous. So at her yarn crawl, uh -huh. where are we going in a couple in a couple of weeks? Oh my gosh. Yeah. So it's like you people are so dangerous. It's not fear. <laughs> you my need, budget. You need to build your stash though. So. Yeah, I try selling that to my husband. <laughs> I'm stash building. I need it. <laughs> Prepping for the recession. Anyway, look what I got, peoples. Oh my gosh. The um, so gates. I'm using this. It's great because I'm using this to house all of my higher hires mm. that I've collected over time. Mm -hmm. I think I have from zero to eight. Mm -hmm. And I just need um, probably nine and ten to add to my stash. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, the cords and everything, huh? It's great. This is really nice. Let me see it inside. Yeah. So is it like, um, so. Oh wow! Oh, oh my yeah, gosh. it's so much room, right? Yeah. So I have in here like, you know, my little brace, the thing that everybody has. Measuring. Do you keep this in your bag? Yeah, because now instead of having all those packs, yes, all over the place, it's yes. like 
It's so nice and organized now. Yes, it is. And it's portable. I have the grocery girls, little. Oh, you need one from like every bag. <laughs> Seriously. Um, but yeah. It's gorgeous. That's that. And then um, talking about <clears throat> uh, uh, one of our favorite activities, which we haven't had time for in the past couple of years, but we still love it. And I imagine when we can, can no longer knit that we'll be doing back to this. We have all the supplies like sitting there. It's just I'm just afraid they're drying up, yeah. like the paints and stuff. Yeah, because it's such an investment. Yeah. Um, uh, so here's just a sample of some of the pages. Stuff like that. And then I started learning to draw um, faces. Um, But they're like collages and whatever. My attempt at a face. I tried to go on that 100 day face drawing thing. How did I go? Uh -huh. Good. You could definitely, you know, it's something you need to keep practicing. It, yes. It As you get better, the more you practice. Over time. Yeah. yeah, I did notice that. Yeah. So just a quick skim through of some of my things I want to get back to. Yeah. Um. Wow. Oh, yeah, this is nice. To start at this one. I need to do the other layer. Yeah. It's so therapeutic. It is. I love it. I can't wait to get back. Half month. Anyway, and then um, we're gonna do the December daily. Go to if you go to December daily hashtag um, on Instagram, you'll see a lot of people's but work on it but basically you're documenting every day of December I usually go from the 1st to the 25th I document one thing whether it be um, going to a parade like I did here you know my niece had a parade so that's us there the two kids and you know talk about that you know what the Christmas tree looked like this year you know stuff like that. favorite ornament favorite ornament favorite dish anything um the gift wrap for that year Anything that you love in December that day. And I love these little pockets here that you can pull out and put journaling and stuff like that. I put the Christmas card, our yearly Christmas card in here. And I love these little flaps that we do. Anyway, I'll try to show a better on, um, video here. But, yeah. Um, it's a fun thing to do. My kids love looking back at it. Um, and I keep saying, oh, I'm not going to do it. But then I end up doing it because I just love it so much this one i did our favorite my son's favorite shows in these little two by two pockets christmas shows home alone you know stuff like that so um yeah that's fun we also do something called project life which you've probably heard us talk about yeah and that one is where we document our every week or month tracy does the week yes and I do by occasion or by month um, this year because, you know, we don't have much. We don't do much around here, you know, since we've moved here. Um, so living in California, you every week we were going off doing something. So it was a lot to document. And mm -hmm. it's lovely to go back and look at that because yeah. I have all these California memories. Like, it's so nice. Um, but my son, like even yesterday, he was. He yeah. went back and he was looking at it, and yeah. he loves it. Yeah. So my kids do. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um. They. I would say I'll probably switch to digital. Do it digi digitally. Yeah. But my daughter said, No, no, no. Keep doing it like this. I said, What are you gonna do with all these albums? She goes, We'll split it. You know. I said, How? But yeah, it'll take up a lot of space. She said, We don't care. <laughs> I know, but I have a boy, and he's not. I mean, maybe I don't. But maybe my daughter might want him. I don't. Know. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so far we started this, what, 2011 or something like that? I did it in 13. Okay, or something like that. Yeah. yeah I, I did it a year after you. Okay, so 2012. Yeah. Oh, worth of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it, you know what? It helps with memory. Yeah. So a lot of, like, my, my daughter, my daughter's 20, she's going to be 28. And I don't remember anything from when she was younger. Hardly anything. But my son, I remember more because guess what? We have those albums. We have those details. It's all organized by year and, and all, month and all right. this. 
and by referring back to them, yes. I remember yes. more. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. it's good. I have no doubt. Yeah. And then when I, I always think, oh, I got to work on that. But when I start working on it, I get, it, it's just so fun. Yes. To like cut up the things. And yeah. It's just so nice. It's so fun. So. My, my husband will say certain things and he's like, um, what what year did we do this or when did we do that? You know, and it's like I always go back to the albums to kind of jog my memory as a time frame because most likely I documented it, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's like, oh, so when did we get this uh, mattress? And it's just like, oh, hold on. Yeah, 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 because you documented all that. <laughs> yeah, you know, taking a picture of, you know, getting a new mattress. My kid's jumping on it, right? Yeah. So. But when you get into that documenting frame of mind, every little thing you t you document yeah and then i mean you can when you actually go put it into your album you can take or leave certain things right but at least you have all this information right um like we were on vacation we were somewhere we were here or somewhere and oh yes we were visiting tracy we were living in california visiting tracy here and we needed our license plate number didn't have it on us but guess what I took a picture of the car going through the car wash from the back, and there it was. And I was like to my husband, hold on. <laughs> and he was just, I think at that point, he really became to appreciate Project Life. <laughs> because they get sick of us snapping yes, everything. They, they hate it. And but like, then, when they have a question, it's like, can you go look in your book? And they're like, oh, <laughs> now you want me to look in my book. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it's a good, it's. It's a lot of work, and it's fun if you like that kind of thing, which we do. Yes. And the reward is really good. Yes. I mean. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I love, I do love doing it. I do love the little details, you know, when my husband is helping my girls with their homework, right? Or if somebody lost a tooth or, you know. Whatever. Yeah, this is what life looks like. Even the simple stuff, having yeah. dinner together. You yeah. set the thing on auto timer and you take a, a picture, picture of the family having dinner. And this is what our life looked like yeah. when you guys were eight and nine yeah. and whatever. Right. So Same thing. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, it's great. Uh, yeah. yeah. yeah so. That's it. That's yeah. all we have. We'll try again. At, I think I said um, we'll try to do this in two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, to subscribe thank yes. you and Show some um, love and subscribe <laughs> and um we're planning to have a giveaway shortly yes coming soon yes um we have some ideas so uh, we'll share that when we're actually ready to do that yeah but just giving you a little teaser a little teaser um for now we're not going to do the ravelry group for knitter's notebook yet um we're going to hold off on that for a little bit um Unless people start asking us, then we'll do it. But for right now, yeah, we'll just keep it as is. Yeah. Um, so the giveaway would probably be on the YouTube post yes. comments. But thanks for tuning in. Yes, thank you. And if you have questions, do let us know. Leave us a comment below. Leave us a comment below. Subscribe. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Bye. Bye.